in this video we're going to start creating the community to do that very first thing you have to make sure in your salesforce org the community setting is enabled once it is enabled then you will choose a domain name the domain name would be reflected in the url of your community and then we will start creating community for that we will make use of one of the available templates a lightning template to create it now let's do this in action now we are in salesforce salesforce let's search for community community settings and we'll go and say enable communities over here let's specify a domain name in our example i'm just giving a dummy domain name by name herde com so you would have observed that this would be the domain name and then you can create various communities for example you want to create a community for your customers then you can append the address as customer the second community could be for, for your employees the third one could be for partners like this you can have 100 communities associated to a single domain name so now let's check the availability and it says that the domain name hirdecom developer edition na91 is available let's hit save so the first step is done where we have enabled the community and also we have set a domain name okay let's wait for it to open up Now, we are going to create a new community. So let's click on new community. It's taking some time. Still loading. Now in community world, the template is known as lightning bolt. What it does, it tells you that there is a template which can be used across the various use cases. For example, if you want a community for your sales team, you can just look at the sales one. If you want to create a community for service, you can look at the various templates which are available over here. Moreover, if you go to App Exchange, let's go to App Exchange. Over there, many companies, if I just solution by type, taking some time to load okay so if I just look at solution by type there are bold solutions there are many companies which have created bold solutions which can also be used by you to create a community so essentially it is a template so these solutions can be paid or it can be free also Now, out of box, Salesforce provide us following. So let's have a look at these also since it has come. 
Suppose you want to create a community for insurance agent. Accenture has created this particular template. You can make use of it. Or if you want to create a community for employees, Seven Summit has created it. It is also free. So now let's go back to our example. And we will go ahead and create a customer service community. So I'm going to select this template or bold solution and we'll say get started so very first thing would be enter a name for this particular community i will say customer service say create and now what salesforce is doing it is setting up a community based on the template that is selected it is as simple as that so someone created a template made it available now you're going to clone that template that's what salesforce is doing and it is going to create a community in our subsequent video we will see how to further customize the template let's wait for a few more seconds should be there in few more seconds should have created still loading all right now it's coming up now this is where we are going to go and customize a community for doing that we will look at the builder now builder tells you how your community is looking as of now and if you want to customize something you can do it let this load up i'll just close this so this is how our community is looking as of now in our subsequent videos we are going to customize this community look and feel thank you